ಕಥಾಮೃತ ತಪ್ತ ಜೀವನ ಕವಿಡಿತ ಕಲ್ಮಶಾಪಹಂ ಶ್ರವಣಮಂಗಲ ಶ್ರೀಮದಾದತ ಭುವಿ ಗೃಣಂತೆಯೇ ಭೂರಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥಾಮೃತ ದ ಗಾಸ್ಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಕಥಿತ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಂ ಮಹೇಂದ್ರನಾಥ್ ಗುಪ್ತ ಅ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಪೋಸ್ಟಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಕೊಲ್ಕತ್ತಾಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಈಶ್ವರ ಚಂದ್ರ ವಿದ್ಯಾಸಾಗರ ಶೃಂಗೆ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇನ್ ಮಿಲಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಿಸಿಟ್ ಟು ವಿದ್ಯಾಸಾಗರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಡಯಲಾಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥಾಮೃತ ಸೊ ಐ ಸ್ಕಿಪ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ವೇರ್ ಹಿ ಎಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಸ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾಸಾಗರ್ಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೊಕೇಶನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೊ ಐ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಅವೇ ಗೋ ಟು ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣಸ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ವಿದ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾಸಾಗರ್ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಗಾಡಿ ಹೊಯ್ತೆ ಅವತರಣ ಕೊರಿಲೇನ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಪದ ದೇಖಾಯ ಬಾಟಿರ್ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಲೊಯ್ಯ ಜಾಯ್ತೆ ಛೇನ್ ಉಠಾನೆ ಫೂಲ್ ಗಾಚ್ ತಾಹರ್ ಮಧ್ಯ ದಿಯ ಆಶಿತೆ ಆಶಿತೆ ಠಾಕುರ್ ಬಾಲಕೇರ್ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಬೋತಮೆ ಹಾತ್ ದಿಯ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಕೆ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸಾ ಕೊರಿತೇನ್ ಕೊರಿತೆ ಛೇನ್ ಜಾಮರ್ ಬೋತಮ್ ಖೋಲಾ ರೋಯಿಸೆ ಎತ್ತಿ ಕಿಚು ದೋಷ ಹೋಬೆ ನಾ So, Sri Ramakrishna got down from the horse carriage and Master Mahasaya M, the record of the gospel, is leading Sri Ramakrishna to Vidyasagar's house and <coughs> when he was going, there were plenty of flower pots everywhere and Sri Ramakrishna is moving in the, in the midst of all this slowly. and while going like a child sri ramakrishna is touching his the the bottom of the shirt the my shirt is not buttoned uh, will it be of any objection will it look uncivilized গায়ে একটি লং ক্লসের জামা পরনে লাল কাপড়ের কাপড় লাল পেড়ে কাপড় তাহার আঁচলটি কাঁদে ফেলা সো ইজ ওয়েরিং এ লং ক্লথ শার্ট অ্যান্ড রেড বর্ডার ধুতি অ্যান্ড পার্ট অফ দ্য ধুতি ইজ অন দি শোল্ডার্স লাইক উত্তর ইয়ার চাদর পায়ে বার্নিশ করা চটি জুতো সো ইজ ওয়েরিং এ ফুটওয়ের ওয়েল পলিশড মাস্টার বলিলেন আপনি ওর জন্য ভাববেন না আপনার কিছুতেই দোষ হবে না আপনার বোতম দেওয়ার দরকার নাই এম টোল্ড শ্রীরামকৃষ্ণ নো 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 দ ইজ নো প্রবলেম এট হল দ ইজ নো ডিফিকাল্টি you do not have to button your shirt in your case nothing is of any objection nobody will object to your not way buttoning your shirt in your case nothing no formality is required balak ke bujhaile jama nischinto hoy thakure temne nischinto hoyle just like a child when is assured of something becomes completely calm and quiet happy sri ramakrishna also was immediately assured that in his case it is not necessary to go to the so called civilized way buttoning a shirt and so on shidi diya uthiya ekbare pratham kamratite uthibar por thik uttorer kamratite thakur bhakta gana sange pravesh korite chen বিদ্যাসাগর কামরায় উত্তর পার্শ্বে দক্ষিণাশ হইয়া বসে আছেন হি ক্লাইম দ্য স্টেয়ার ইন দি ফার্স্ট ফ্লোর বিদ্যাসাগর ইজ সিটিং ইন ইজ রুম ফেসিং দ্য সাউথ সম্মুখে একটি চার কোনা লম্বা পালিশ করা টেবিল 
There is a, a, a squarish table in just in front, beautifully polished. Table er purvat hare ekhane pichon theke helan dawa bench. There is a bench at the back with a back rest and just on the uh, eastern side of the table. Table a dakhin parshe or paschim parshe koye khani chair. So on the southern side and the uh, western side, a few chairs for people to sit. Vidyasagar duyakti bandur shahid kotha koite chilen. Vidyasagar was conversing with some of his friends. Thakur pravesh korele por Vidyasagar dandayaman hoya abhyartana korele. As soon as Ramakrishna entered the room, Vidyasagar stood up with great respect and greeted him with folded hands. Thakur paschimasya tebuler purva parshe dadaya chen. Ramakrishna is standing facing the west and the southern on the uh, eastern side of the table. Vam hasto table rupar. Paschate binch khani. So his left hand was placed on the table and the bench was just behind him. Vidyasagar ke purva parichitir nyay ag drishte dekhite chen oi bhave hasite chen. He is looking at Vidyasagar as if he is known to him for a very long time with great affection and care. One pointedly he is looking at him and in divine ecstatic mood he is laughing to himself. Vidyasagar Arvayesh Andaj Bhashwati Teshwati Vidyasagar is 62 or 63 years of age. Thakur Sri Ramakrishna Bekha Sholo Shatra Bachar Bada Hoi Ben. He may be older than Sri Ramakrishna by 16 or 17 years. Parane Khan Kapad Paaye Choti Joto Gaaye Eg Haat Kata Flanaler Jama. So carefully Master is, the M is describing every little detail that is the beauty of the, the gospel. So he is wearing a dhoti and a, a footwear and also a half sleeve shirt made of flannel. Mathar Chotur Parsha Urisha Vashidhar Mato Kamano. The four sides in the head, like the people in Orissa, is a shaven head. With, with, uh, at the center, there is some hair. Katha koi var shomai, daant guli ujjwal dekhi te pao jai, daant guli shomasta baadhano. When he is uh, talking to Sri Ramakrishna and, and laughing, all the uh, teeth are brightly seen, all of them are artificial denture. <laughs> Mathati khub bado, unno ta lalat ar ik tu kharva kriti. See, his head is quite big, that shows a lot of brain inside. And his forehead is very broad and slightly short in height. Brahman tai galai upavita. Because he was a Brahman and therefore he had the upavita uh, on his the sacred thread on his shoulders. Vidya Shagar is one gun, Pratham Vidya Anurag. So he is enumerating the various qualities of Vidya Shagar so beautifully. Such a character analysis is very, very rare. How he summarizes the essential characteristics of Ishwar Chandra Vidya Shagar. Pratham Vidya Anurag. The first important characteristic of Vidya Shagar his great devotion to cultivation of knowledge. Ek din master ek ache, ei bolte bolte shotte shotte kede chilen. Amar to khub ichha chilo je padashona kori, kintu koi holo. Shangshar er pore ar kichhi shomai pelamna. Once he 
expressed to my M <coughs> with tears in his eyes, I had a great desire to study so much, but after inter entering this worldly life, I couldn't get much time. Dvitiyo Doya Sarva Jive Vidya Sagar Doyar Sagar. Second important characteristic characteristic is his great compassion and mercy for all beings. Vidya Sagar literally meaning ocean of knowledge is actually Dayar Sagar, ocean of compassion. Bachurera Mayer Dud Paina Bole de Kia Nije Kwaik Bachur Duria Dud Kava Bandukuria Chilin. The milk from the cow is meant for the calves, the offsprings of the cow, unless they should be deprived of their share. Vidya Sagar stopped drinking milk for quite a few years. When he fell very ill because of perhaps lack of nutrition, then much later he started drinking milk. Gadite choditena ghoda nijer koshta bolite parena. He refused to get into a horse carriage because the horses there will not be able to openly talk about their difficulty, but they will all the time feel great difficulty if, some, if the carriage is attached to them. So he refused to enter into a horse carriage. Agdin Dekhilen, Akta Duto. Kalera Rogi Akrantuya Rastai Puriyache Kache Jhakata Puriyache Dekya Nijer Kole Kuriya Tahake Bharati Anilin or Sheva Kurita Lagilin. Once he saw a person inflicted with cholera and attacked by cholera, helplessly lying in the street, and he Vidyasagar himself carried him on his shoulders, brought him home and nursed him back to health. Tritiyo. So these are the two. One is his great eagerness for cultivation of knowledge. Second is great compassion. Tritiyo. Third one. Shadinata Priyata. <clears throat> the love of freedom. Not compromising with truth. Since he could not see eye to eye with the people who were running the Sanskrit college at that time, at the established with the British, he was appointed principal because he could not see eye to eye with the people who were running the college at that time. For whatever reason, he refused to compromise and gave up his post. Pancham Matru Bhakti or Manir Bal. The fifth one is great devotion for his mother and tremendous mental strength. Ma Bolia Chen Ishwar Tumi Jodi E Vivaho Bratar Vivahe Na Asho Tahole Amar Bhari Mankarabove Tai Kolkata Huya Hatiya Galen. The mother said, O Ishwar, Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar. O oh, Ishwar, if you do not attend a particular marriage, his brother's marriage, then I will feel extremely sad just to keep the word of his mother, just to please his mother. From Calcutta all the way, he walked to the place of marriage. Pothe Damodur Nodi, Noka Nai, Shatardiya Par Huya Galin. Sri Bhija Kapode, Vivaha Ratri Veer Shunghar Marka Chigya Upasthit Bolelen Ma Eshechi On the way he encountered a Damodar river and the river is in spate 
there was no boat available to cross the river so he swam across the river and went to his place veer singha and fully wet clothes he went to his mother and said mother i have come to keep your word these are the five qualities of vidya sagar one cultivation of knowledge passion for knowledge two compassion three independence of views not uncompromising attitude with the truths and higher values four lokapekha kuriten na this we have left out ekti shikshak ke bhalobashiten tar konnyar vivaher samoy nije aibudo bhater kapor bagale kore eshe uposthit so he did not care for the views of the world he was very fond of one particular teacher and for the marriage of his daughter he himself went and performed certain ag- actions necessary for the marriage without caring what will people think because he was the principal of that college and the fifth is his great devotion for the mother and tremendous mental strength so this is the kind of person which ramakrishna is going to meet now thakur bhavavisht hoite chen o kiyat khun bhave darai achen भाव सम्बरण कर मध्य मध्य बोलते जल खाव देखते देखते बाड़ी ऐल आत्मय बंधुरा आसिया दाड़ाइल सो श्रामकृष्ण इज अगेन एंड अगेन गोईंग इन टू एन एक्सटैटिक मूड एंड लुकिंग एट विद्यासागर वन पॉइंट विद वन पॉइंट एट अटेंशन एंड आफ्टर रेस्ट्रेनिंग हिमसेल्फ फ्रॉम गोईंग टू भाव समाधि in order to restrain he is assuming certain innocent desires and he said i will now drink water so that the mind comes down and slowly all the local people assembled there to see sram ke have a darshan of sri ramakrishna and all the people of uh, the boys of that that house they all assembled ठाकुर भावाविष्ट हा बेचर ऊपर बसते एक षोलो सतर सतर अठर बचर ऐले से बेचे बसिया विद्यासागर का पढ़ाशनार सहाज्य प्रार्थना करते आसिया ठाकुर भावाविष्ट सो ए बॉय सेवेंटीन एंड एटीन इयर्स ओल्ड वॉज सीटिंग एट द सेम बेच हि एड कम टू विद्या विद्यासागर टू बेग फॉर some assistance to be able to complete his education because anybody having any kind of want will freely go to vidyasagar and ask for assistance that was very common those days thakur bhavavishtu ramakrishna is in a very high ecstatic mood rishi rantar drishti cheler antarer bhav shob bujhiya chen ramakrishna was in very high spiritual mood and he had the inner vision of a rishi or a seer he could penetrate and see through the inner substance of that boy sitting by his side ek to shuriya boshilen aur bhave bolte chen he moved away from that boy a little who was sitting by his side and said ma e cheler boro sanshar asakti tomar avidyar sanshar e avidyar chele mother this boy is terribly attached to his worldly life and he is the avidyar sanshar that means he is attached to this world of avidya avidya ramakrishna used to say kameni kanchan attached to lust and greed e avidyar chele this boy has samskaras which are unspiritual je vyakti brahmavidyarjane vyakul noy 
শুধু অর্থ করে বিদ্যা উপার্জন তাহার পক্ষে বিডম্বনা মাত্র এই কথা কি ঠাকুর বলিতেছেন মিনিং বিদ্যাসাগর ব্যস্ত হয়ে একজনকে জল আনিতে বলিলেন ও মাস্টারকে জিজ্ঞাসা করিতেছেন কিছু খাবার আনলে উনি খাবেন কি রামকৃষ্ণ আমি জল খাবো আই উইল ড্রিঙ্ক সম ওয়াটার বিদ্যাসাগর লিটারলি থট দ্যাট ইজ দি শ্রামকৃষ্ণ ওয়ান্স টু ড্রিঙ্ক ওয়াটার ইমি টোল্ড মাস্টার মহাশয় এম উইল হি ইট সামথিং ইফ আই ব্রিঙ্ক সম সুইটস আর সম আদার ইটেবলস অ্যান্ড টোল্ড সামবডি কুইকলি ব্রিঙ্ক ওয়াটার তিনি বলিলেন আজ্ঞা আনুন না বিদ্যাসাগর ব্যস্ত হইয়া ভিতরে দিয়া কতগুলি মিঠাই আনিলেন বলিলেন এগুলো বর্ধমান থেকে এসেছে সো বিদ্যাসাগর মাস্টার মাস্টার মহাশয় স্যার ইয়া ইয়া ইউ মে ব্রিং সামথিং সো হি ইমিডিয়েটলি উইন্ট ইন সাইড ব্রিং সাম সুইটস অ্যান্ড প্লেস ইট বিফোর শ্রীরামকৃষ্ণ অ্যান্ড স্যার দি সিংস হ্যাভ বিন পারচে ব্রড ফ্রম বর্ধমান সাম সুইটস উইচ আর ভেরি ফেমাস ইন বর্ধমান ডিস্ট্রিক্ট ইন ওয়েস্ট বেঙ্গল মাস্টারকে দ্বিতীয় আনিলে আনিলে পর বিদ্যাসাগর বললেন ও ঘরের ছেলে ওর জন্য আটকাচ্ছে না সো দে অফার ইট ইস রামকৃষ্ণ অ্যান্ড অলসো টু এম দেন বিদ্যাসাগর স্যার ও ইজ আওর ওন বয় ইট ডিস রিয়েলি ম্যাটার ইফ ইউ ইজ নট অফার্ড আর নট অফার্ড ঠাকুর একটি ভক্ত ছেলের সঙ্গে বিদ্যাসাগরকে বলিতেছেন ভক্ত ছেলের কথা সো ইজ টেলিং এ স্টোরি অফ এ ভেরি ডিভোটেড বয় টু বিদ্যাসাগর সেই ছোকরাটি এখানে ঠাকুরের সম্মুখে বসেছিল সো দ্যাট বয় ওয়াজ সিটিং ইন ফ্রন্ট অফ শ্রীরামকৃষ্ণ ঠাকুর বললেন এই ছেলেটি বেশ সৎ আর অন্তঃসার যেমন ফলগু নদী উপরে বালি একটু খুললেই ভিতরে জল বইছে দেখা যায় this boy is extremely honest and sincere and inside is like phalgu nadi a nadi which is not seen which is flowing uh, underneath the the uh, soil so this kind of phalgu nadi and soil is outside if you just scratch a little and dig a little the waters will come out মিষ্টিমুখের পর ঠাকুর সাহাসে বিদ্যাসাগরের পর সঙ্গে কথা বল কইতেছেন সে আফ্টার ই ইজ জাস্ট এইট ইট এ লিটল অফ দ্য সুইটস ব্রড টু হিম অ্যান্ড নাও উইজ স্মাইলিং ফেস সাহাস্য বদন অলওয়েজ ইউল বি স্মাইলিং সাহাস্যে জয়ফুলি হ্যাপিলি উইজ স্মাইলিং ফেস ইজ কনভার্সিং উইজ বিদ্যাসাগর দেখিতে দেখিতে এক ঘর লোক হইয়াছে কেহ উপবিষ্ট কেহ দণ্ডাইয়া সো বাই দিস টাইম দি এন্টায়ার রুম ওয়াজ ফিল্ড উইথ পিপল কিউরিয়াস টু হ্যাভ দর্শন অফ শ্রী রামকৃষ্ণ অ্যান্ড শ্রী রামকৃষ্ণ সেজ আজ সাগরে এসে মিলিলাম এতদিন খাল বিল হদ্দ নদী দেখেছি এবারে সাগর দেখছি সকলের হাস্য বিকজ ইজ নেম উইথ বিদ্যা সাগর ইয়ে স্যার টুডে আই হ্যাভ রিচড দি ওশন সো লং আই হ্যাভ বিন ওনলি গোয়িং টু রিভার্স অ্যান্ড স্মল রিভুলেটস অ্যান্ড লেকস অ্যান্ড সো অন টুডে আই হ্যাভ কাম টু দি ওশন এভরিবডি লাভস বিদ্যা সাগর সাহস্যে তবে নোনা জল খানিকটা নিয়ে যান হাস্য দেন ইয়ে স্যার ও in that case you take some saltish water because the um, uh, sea water is saltish 
everybody laughs. See, look at how the conversation proceeds. Sri Ramakrishna said, Vidyasagar immediately gave a beautiful, very witty repartee. Again, look at Sri Ramakrishna. Ra Sri Ramakrishna, Nago, Nunajal Kano, Tumito Avidyar Shagar, no, Tumije Vidyar Shagar, Shokare Hasho, Tumikhir Shomudro, Shokare Hasho. <laughs> immediately he replies, This is called repartee. You mean retorting wittily, quickly. He said, no, 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 how can you be saltish? You are not Avidya Sagar, you are Vidya Sagar. You are not ocean of ignorance, Avidya. You are the ocean of knowledge. Everybody laughs. And he says, Sheer Samudra is the milk ocean on which Mahavishnu is supposed to be lying down. Vidyasagar couldn't proceed further. Ta bolte paren bote. Then he said, Oh, well, you may say that. Vidyasagar chup kuriya achin, chup kuriya ruilin, thakur kata goite chen. So Vidyasagar is just quietly sitting there, and now Sri is saying this. Tomar karma, shatvik karma. Sattvagun theke doya hoy. Doyar jonno je karma kora jaye. से राजसे कर्म बोटे किंतु ये रजोगुन सत्ये रजोगुन ये ते दोष ना हैं। These are all gems which we should pick up about karma, like in the Bhagavad Gita, for example. These are great teachings of the avatar. Your work, all the works, activities that are engaged in, are all sattvic karma. All of you know that. In the Sankhyan tradition, due to Kapila Muni, the tendencies of people have been divided into three, Sattva, Rajas and Tamas, of which Sattva is luminous, bright and releases you. Rajas is restlessness and leads to Kama Krodha, lust and greed and anger, and tamas is sleepishness, indolence, lethargy, and so on. So Sri Ramakrishna is telling Vidya Sagar, the work and activities that you are engaged in, these are sattvic karma. They, they lead to liberation, they lead to purification of the mind, chitta shuddhi. Sattvagun teke doya hoi. Doya arises from Sattvaguna. Sri Ramakrishna used to distinguish between Maya and Daya. Unson kisankin, my, my wife, my children, my uh, relatives. This is Maya. Attachment to one's own kiss and kin. Doya is the universal compassion for everybody. From Sattvaguna, comes daya or compassion. Dayar junna je karma kora jai, se shamaj rajasri karma bote, kinti e rajogon shatte rajogon, e te dosh nai. This work which is done, arising from daya, of course it may be rajasri karma, because all work presupposes rajas. Without any kind of rajas, you cannot do karma. But Sri Ramakrishna says here, but this rajas, e rajogun, satver rajogun, this rajoguna is established in sattva and therefore there is no defect, there is no harm in performing this kind of activity which may be arising from rajoguna is established and based upon sattva. Shukadevadi loka shikhar janna dayadi rikhe chilin ishwaram se shikha davar janna. People like Shukadeva retained compassion or daya for the sake of instructing the world, loka shiksha, for the sake of giving teachings to the world 
ঈশ্বর সেই শিক্ষা দেওয়ার জন্য ফর এজুকেটিং দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড ইনস্ট্রাক্টিং দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড অ্যাবাউট দ্য মিস্ট্রি অফ গড স্পিরিট অ্যান্ড সোয়ান দ্য স্পিরিচুয়াল টিচিং দে ওয়ান্টেড টু গিভ অ্যান্ড দেয়ার ফর দি দয়া দ্য কম্প্যাশন অফ পিপল লাইক সুখদেবা ওয়াজ অফ এ ভেরি ভেরি হাই অর্ডার in order to teach the people about spirituality about godly life to be vidyadan annadan karcho evo bhalo you are performing vidyadana and annadana annadana is material objects food clothing books scholarships money these are gifts of these are given to people who deserve and who desire and who are in need of them annadana vidyadana gift of learning gift of knowledge so you are doing annadana and vidyadana oh this is excellent nishkam karte parli ete bhagwan lab hai secret of karma yoga if you can do this kind of activity without any desire for the results of this action through this you can achieve realization of god exactly what the gita teaches through that you may attain to higher and higher heights of spirituality keo koren namer jonno punner jonno tader koma nishkam noy ar shiddho to tumi achoi so some people perform these activities for the sake of name and fame their name should be propagated everywhere for the sake of attaining merits their activity their karma is not without desire it is sakama full of desire ar shiddha to tumi achhoi and you are already siddha Sri so Ramakrishna was a master of pun and words. He takes a word and makes pun on them. Siddha means a person who has attained Siddhi, success in spiritual life, in higher life. It also means a person is well boiled. <laughs> in Bengali we say Adu Shiddho, Pepe Shiddho. you take a potato and boil it well it becomes alu siddho you take a papaya and then boil it well it becomes pepe siddho korla siddho you take a bitter gourd and boil it well it becomes korla siddho siddho means that which is well boiled so sri ramakrishna is making a pun on the word siddha you are already siddha Vidya Sagar couldn't quite catch this pun, perhaps. Although he's such a great scholar, Sri Ramakrishna, compared to him, is supposed to be absolutely unlettered. But look at the genius of Sri Ramakrishna and the wit and the pun and the acute understanding, sharp insight. Vidya Sagar, what should I come on for? With this little slight surprise, says, "How do you say this?" শ্রী রামকৃষ্ণ সাহসে আলু পটল সিদ্ধ হলে তো নরম হয় তা তুমি তো খুব নরম তোমার এত দয়া হাস ওয়েন আলু পটল পটল ইজ এ কাইন্ড অফ ভেজিটেবল কমন ইন বেঙ্গল আলু ইজ পটেটো ওয়েন দিস আর ওয়েল বয়েলড সিদ্ধ দেন দে বিকাম ভেরি সফট অ্যান্ড ইউ আর সো সফট because of great compassion in your heart everybody laughs <laughs> enjoying the pun and the word siddha vidya sagar sahashe kolata bata siddha to shakti hoy sokoler hasho he is also <laughs> kolai bata a kind of uh, 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 a lentil which when you uh, boil it it becomes more, and more it becomes harder it's a very peculiar phenomenon it doesn't get soft anymore it becomes harder so he is saying but this kolai bata 
this peculiar lentil colloidal the more and more it is boiled it becomes harder so call it harsh everybody laughs ramakrishna tumi tanaugo shudhu pandit gulu dorkacha pora na edike na oi dike na edik na oi dik no 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 you are not so mere scholars who have studied the books without any compassion and the softness of heart and feeling for others they are neither here nor there shokore khub bujhte uthe তার নজর কিন্তু ভাগারে তখনই ভালচার প্রাইস সো হাই ইন দ্য স্কাই আই ডোন্ট নো হুদার ইউ সিন ইটস জাস্ট লাইক আ ডট ইট মুভস अराउंड লাইক দিস বাট কনস্ট্যান্টলি লুকিং এট দ্য ক্যারি অন বিলো এন্ড দ্য ডেড বডিজ কার্পস এন্ড সো অন ইমিডিয়েটলি ইট পাউন্স এন্ড টেক ইট অ্যাওয়ে সো অল দিস পান্ডিটস আর ফ্লাইং সো হাই talking about great scholarly things discussing things of very great scholarship but their sight is always on worldly things jara shudhu pandit shunte ves pandit kintu তাদের কামিনী কাঞ্চনে আসক্তি শকরের মতন পচা মড়া খুঁজছে ইন্টেলেক্ট নট দ্য হার্ট দেভ নট কালটিভেটেড পিওরিটি অফ ক্যারেক্টার দে আর লাইক ভালচার্স ফ্লাইং সো হাই ইন দ্য স্কাই বাট কনস্টেন্টলি হ্যাভিং দের gaze at the dead body is a corpses below pocha mora the corpses which have got disintegrated they are very tasty for the great these vultures what is that kamini kanchane nazar ashakti attachment to woman and gold attachment to lust and greed ashakti avidya sanshare daya bhakti vairagya vidya raishwarya this is an important line he summarizes the whole thing ashakti attachment to enjoyment of the senses worldly objects what ramakrishna calls kamini kanchana lust and greed attachment to these things or avidya sanshar they are of the nature of ignorance the worldliness daya bhakti vairagya daya compassion bhakti devotion to god divine love and vairagya dispassion for the world unattachment detachment from worldly objects these are vidya raishwarya these are the great wealth of vidya or knowledge vidya sagar chup kuriya shunite chen shakali ek drishte e anandamay purush ke darshan o tahar kathamrita paan korite chen vidya sagar is listening quietly to this conversation by sri ramakrishna and all the people in the room are delightfully watching sri ramakrishna man full of joy the anandamaya purusha m describes sri ramakrishna very often by this phrase anandamaya purusha a person who is full of joy immersed in joy all of them are intently looking at sri ramakrishna and drinking deep of the nectar of the conversation spiritual words which are escaping from his divine lips every word is so valuable so sweet and so elevating 
বিদ্যাসাগর মহাপণ্ডিত যখন সংস্কৃত কালেজে পড়িতেন তখন নিজের শ্রেণীর সত্য সর্ব উৎকৃষ্ট ছাত্র ছিলেন বিদ্যাসাগর ওয়াজ এ ভেরি ভেরি গ্রেট স্কলার when he was studying in sanskrit college in calcutta he always stood first in his class he was a topper prati parikha parikhay pratham hoiten swarna padakari va chhatra vritti paiten he used to be the topper of each class he received gold medal for topping the class and or he used to get fellowship special scholarship for topping krame sanskrit college pradhan adhyapak hoya chilen by and by after he passed out and became slightly senior he was appointed the uh, principal of the sanskrit college then sanskrit vyakaran sanskrit kavye vishesh paradarshita labh kariya chilen he attained special competence in sanskrit grammar and in sanskrit literature even now there is a vyakarana kaumudi kaumudi is like a moonlight so soothing and cooling vyakarana sanskrit usually is a big threat for beginners any grammar is that and particularly sanskrit grammar people are terribly afraid of sanskrit grammar he composed a book wrote a book called vyakarana kaumudi the soothing moonlight of the vyakarana of the grammar that's what it literally means even now is being studied by in bengal one of the most outstanding books for the beginners if you can master the vyakarana kaumudi from beginning to end then you would have gained great mastery over sanskrit written in very simple language in the most practical fashion <clears throat> so he was a great scholar of sanskrit grammar sanskrit literature adhyavasai gune nije chesta koriya ingreji sikhiya chile tremendous perseverance he had and with his own perseverance and tremendous efforts he also studied and learned english well dharma vishaye vidyasagar er kaho kaha ke shikha diten na in spiritual matters vidyasagar were very reticent to teach people about spiritual truths he was very hesitant reticent he refused to teach people spirituality tini darshanadi grantha podiya chilen মাস্টার একদিন জিজ্ঞাসা করিতে করিয়াছিলেন আপনার হিন্দু দর্শন কি রূপ লাগে হি অলসো হ্যাড স্টাডিড ফিলসফি অ্যান্ড ওয়ান্স এম আস্ট বিদ্যাসাগর বিকজ হি ওয়াজ ভেরি ফ্রি উইথ বিদ্যাসাগর হি ওয়াজ ওয়ার্কিং ইন বিদ্যাসাগর স্কুল ইজ হাউ ডু ইউ ফাইন্ড দি হিন্দু দর্শন দি ফিলসফি উইথ দ্য হিন্দুস what is your attitude towards how do you like it and what is your reaction to this after studying the hindu darshana tini boliya chilen amar to bodh hoy ora ja bujhte geche bujhate geche bujhate pare nai ma vidyasagar said i think they could not quite explain or expound what they wanted to explain or expound hindu der nyay shraddha ji dharma karma samasta koriten golai upavita dharan koriten banglay je sokal patra likhiten tahate shri shri hari sharanam bhagavaner ei bandana age koriten but like any pious devoted hindu he did all the various rituals like shraddha Uh, for the for the sake of the pitris for the sake of the deceased ancestors <coughs> and he always wore the sacred thread in his shoulders and whenever he wrote a letter in bengali he always used to begin shri shri hari sharanam shri shri hari vishnu 
Narayana, the Supreme Lord, is my refuge. So he always used to invoke the blessings of the Lord before he started writing any letter. Master Arik Din, Tahar Mukhe Shuniya Chilin, then Ishwar Shammande Kirub Bhavin. M once asked him, What is your conception of God? Vidyasagar. Vidyasagar Buliya Chilin, Taketo Janubar Joni, Akon Kartubuki. A human mind cannot grasp the infinitude of God, mind being finite and God being infinite. It is impossible for the finite human mind to grasp the infinitude of God. Amar Mate, Ekhon Kartabhaki, then what is to be done? What is our duty? Amar Mate Kartabha, Amade Nijer Eru Pava Uchit Je, Shokale Jodi. So his conception of realization of God. So what is to be done? The finite human mind will not be able to realize the infinitude of God, the majesty, the vastness of God. So what is to be done? What is our duty? Our duty is to become and to transform our character in such a way that if everybody in this universe transforms his or character in the same fashion, the entire world will be turned into heaven tomorrow. Swarga hoi jai. Pratyakir cheshta kara uchi jate jagatir mangal hai. So this is Vidyasagar's statement that Every person in this universe, man, woman, child, everybody, has to strive for the good of the world, for the auspiciousness of the world, mangal koravachit, for the welfare of this world. As Buddha said famously, be good and do good. This is the whole of religion. Vidyar, avidyar, katha koite koite, so after discussing Vidya and Avidya, Sri Ramakrishna is now discussing Brahma Jnana, the knowledge of the Supreme Brahman, Supreme Being. Vidya Sagar Mahapandit, Shada Darshan Pat Kuriya Dekhiya Chen, Buchi Ishwar Vishay Kichudi Jana Jaina. Vidyashagar was an extraordinarily great scholar. After thoroughly studying the six orthodox traditional philosophies of India, Nyaya, Vaisheshika, one group, Sankhya, Yoga, the second group, Purva Mimamsa and Uttara Mimamsa, Vedanta, the third group. These are the six Indian philosophies traditions, Shad Darshana, Astika Darshana. Nastika Darshana are three in number, the Charvaka, Buddhist, Buddha Darshana and Jaina Darshana. Six traditional Indian philosophies, Shad Darshana, after studying all of them, Vidyasaga realized that one cannot say anything about Ishvara or God and Ishwara cannot be known, understood or realized by the finite mind, God being infinite. Sri Ramakrishna, Brahma Vidya Avidya Rapare Tini Maya Tito Brahma Vidya O Avidya Rapare Tini Maya Tito Very pithy statement. Brahman is beyond, beyond Maya. Ishvara or Brahman. Brahman it can be Sagana Brahman or Virguna Brahman. Sagana Brahman is called Ishvara. So Brahman is beyond Maya. He is called Maya Adhisha. He is the ruler of Maya. All of us jivas, finite, limited, 
jivas all of us are maya adhina we are under the spell under the sway of maya whereas brahman is maya adhisha he is the supreme ruler of maya maya atita he is transcendent he is beyond maya what is maya maya is space time and causation it is desha kala nimitta which is what you call the samsara or the world anything which is confined within the limits of space time and causation desha kala nimitta is finite and therefore changing and therefore perishable and therefore cannot be the supreme reality which is undecaying imperishable constant unchanging ei jogote vidya maya avidya maya dui ache this is a unique contribution of sri ramakrishna don't think all maya is bad there are two varieties of maya two kinds of maya vidya maya the maya of knowledge avidya maya the ma- the knowledge of ignorance or attachment gyan bhakti ache abar kame nikanchana ache sado ache asado ache you have gyana and bhakti knowledge of god and devotion to god divine love on the one side on the other side you have attachment to kamini kanchana lust and greed sado ache asado ache there is a being and non being bhalo ache abar mando ache there is good as well as bad kintu brahman nirlipto but brahman is unattached like akasha bhalo mand jiver pokkhe sad asad jiver pokkhe tar ote kichu hoy na good and bad are all for the sake for the jiva because the jiva is within maya maya is considered dvaita to the dual bhalo mando good and bad sheet ushno heat and cold sukha dukha happiness and sorrow these are called dvandva the duality within maya you have the duality and we go beyond maya even dundvatita the bhagavad gita repeatedly the bhagavan teaches arjuna dun become dundvatita nirdvando nitya satvastho yoga kshema atmavan nirdvandva go beyond the dundva go beyond the duality as long as within maya this dual throng this duality will never cease jamon pradeeper sammukhe keu va bhagavat padche keu va jal korche pradeep nirlipto there is a light and somebody is reading under the light of bhagavatam a spiritual scripture describing the divine play leela of the various avataras incarnations of god of which sri krishna avatar is the most famous in the bhagavatam somebody is reading a spiritual book and somebody is forging a document cheating dishonestly but the light itself the pradeepa under which both of these actions are taking place it is completely unattached it has no connection with the activity is taking place under it surjo sishter upare alo dicche abar dushter upare alo dicche surya the sun is shining at good people it's also shining on wicked people suryo yatha sarva lokasya chakshu nalipyate chakshu shair bahya doshai ekastada sarva bhutantaratma nalipyate loka dukhe na bahya katopanishad that's like the surya is not affected by the defect in the eye of the seer somebody has a defect in the eye is looking at the eye surya in what way the surya is affected by that 
just like the Surya, the sun is unaffected by anything, the onlooker is defect in the eye, is also shining on the good, shining on the wicked, and sun itself is completely detached, unaffected by any of the defects in the samsara or the dual throng or the worldly objects. Jodi bolo dukho, paap, ashanti, e shokal tabe ki, tar utre eje, Voshab jiver pokhe brahmanur lipto. Suppose you ask the question, but we see dukkha, sorrow, paap, sin, ashanti, lack of peace, all that is commonly seen in the samsara in the worldly life. How do these people, these things come about? Then the answer is, all these are for the jiva or the embodied being. With respect to an embodied being, with respect to a jiva, with respect to a person who has who is under the sway of maya, under the sway of space-time causation, all these things happen. But Brahman itself is completely detached. Shaper Peter Bishache, Onege Kamadale Morejai, Onuke Kamadale Morejai, Shaper Kinto Kishui Hoina. This is another very interesting example he gives. A snake has poison in its mouth, in the fangs. If it bites somebody, immediately the person dies. But the snake itself is not affected by its own poison <laughs> because it's its own dharma. It's a very important scientific and philosophical principle. <clears throat> Nobody is affected by his own dharma, by his own characteristic. This is the principle of what we call the vaccine. A virus has affected you. What is the vaccine? You take the virus and inject it in the body so that the virus becomes part of the body itself and therefore virus externally will not be able to affect it. Which means no object is affected by its own characteristic of dharma. Fire burns everything but fire doesn't burn itself. Because the burning property of fire is fire's own dharma, own characteristic, and for the burning property of fire cannot burn fire itself. <laughs> Only when something is external to you, you are affected by it. This is a philosophical and scientific principle by which you are, you are forced to the conclusion that you should absorb the external world completely within yourself, in that case, you will not be affected by the external world. Just like a fire cannot burn itself, maya cannot affect you, provided that you take refuge in the maya adhisha who is Brahman, and you are protected from the effects of maya, you go beyond the jivatva, individuality become universal and therefore you become one with the infinite maya cannot touch you brahma je ki mukhe bola jai na is another context he brings about which is very very interesting oft quoted we'll take it up om niranjanam nityam ananta roopam bhaktanukampa dhuta vigraham vai Ishavataram Parameshamidyam Tam Ramakrishnam Shirasanamamaha Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tatsat Shri Ramakrishnar Panamastur